Today it's going to be warm, cloudy, muggy. As we head into the overnight, we're going to be tracking rain and storms moving into the area. We could even get a couple of severe storms with damaging winds. We can't completely roll out a quick spin up tornado. But then looking ahead to your Wednesday, we've issued a first alert weather day because it is going to be noticeably chillier. We're only going to have those highs around 60 degrees. Some spots not even going to make it out of the 50s. And we're going to have a breezy northerly wind adding even more of a chill to the air. So we'll actually have temperatures likely below normal on Wednesday, but here's first alert future cast. We're starting you off this morning. You can see the clouds over the area. You'll notice especially east of 35 where we have some of that deeper tropical moisture. We are looking at a couple of spotty showers throughout the afternoon. Definitely not a complete washout, but the closer we get to about seven to eight o'clock, we could get a couple of thunderstorms moving up from the south. So don't be surprised if you get a quick storm in your area. See some lightning and quick heavy rainfall as it races off to the north. A severe threat during the day is pretty low, but it's as we get into the overnight that we're going to start to see that threat increasing out in our western counties. This is a look around four o'clock tomorrow morning. We'll see that line moving in towards the Breckenridge and Graham area. It's getting closer to Denton and Tarrant counties around six to seven a.m. and crossing right over the I-35 corridor. Unfortunately, in time for that morning drive, we still could get a strong storm at this point, but we are expecting that line to weaken as it moves off to the east through the midday hours and we will see our skies clearing from west to east into the afternoon. So tomorrow we'll start off stormy, but then we're going to end with sunshine and it's still going to be a warm day for us. But we do have that first alert weather day for overnight tonight, not for the daytime hours because we have that level two slight risk in our western counties. And then that threat does shift right over I-35 as the storms move into our area for the morning. But we're also tracking some very strong winds even outside of the thunderstorms. I mean, look at this. We'll have gusts up around 35 to 40 miles an hour as we're starting off your Monday. Those winds are going to stay very strong through the midday hours and then weaken as we head into the evening. So for the kids out at the bus stop tomorrow, we'll start off with temperatures in the upper 60s, scattered storms around, and then heading home, we'll have that sunshine and temperatures in the lower 70s. But it's definitely a cloudy day for us right now. 68 degrees in Arlington. A lot of our day is going to be dry. We'll have those temperatures warming into the mid to upper 70s this afternoon. We'll end with a couple of evening thunderstorms. And that first alert seven day forecast showing those much cooler temperatures for Wednesday. But we're warming back up towards the weekend.